Uh, today I'm going to show you how to fit uh, the not so hobo intercooler diverter plate. Uh, it's quite a straightforward process. Um, you need obviously the plate, the four brackets that come with it, an allen key, the foam strip that comes with it and either some um, acetone or some alcohol just to clean down the mating surfaces on the intercooler uh, and then some adhesive. I'm actually going to use uh, some double sided uh, adhesive which I've already put on the brackets but you can use any really good quality uh, metal epoxy um, anything like that just to bond the plates uh, to the front of the intercooler and the back of the intercooler uh, and I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to clean down the surface as best as we can on the front and rear uh, and I'll use some acetone to do that right now. So you can wipe it down with some acetone to get any grease off the surfaces. Uh, depending on how dirty your intercooler is you may have to uh, you know, go a little bit further with that and take a bit of time. Uh, obviously the better the, the the surface is the better it's going to stick. So now we need to get the plate and we'll just pop the screws out of each of these brackets. Pop uh, in this scenario I've actually got um, some double sided tape on here. You want the flat surface to be towards the intercooler. Once we've got those done up, I'm just going to line the brackets up. The front end needs to tuck in behind this panel, and then the back should just slide over. The position you're looking for is the front edge to line up with the front edge of the cooler, obviously the back end with the back end, and then the sides, you just want to position those so they're about even and there's no gaps showing. Once you're happy with that, now I'm just going to loosen this off a little bit. Um, you can then secure the brackets in place. Now if you're using epoxy you might have to leave the back two brackets loose to give you the room to get the epoxy on and then put it in. Um, obviously I'm using double sided tape so I don't need to do that. So I will now remove... So I'll now remove the um, sort of tape covering. Obviously if you were doing um, epoxy or adhesive, this point that's where you put the, ad the adhesive on. And again, line up the back. Now obviously this is going to stick with adhe with uh, epoxy, you'd have a, you know, a little bit of time to move it around. I won't with this. Uh, it's very strong tape. So I'm just going to line it up, rotate it back, and then push those into place. Um, now if you're using epoxy, uh, I would advise leaving it as it is for a good a sort of hour or so, let that epoxy harden off enough before you sort of carry on after that. Uh, obviously me using double sided tape it's basically instant grab so I can undo the bolts. Now I've got the bolts removed put this to one side and now I can just press to make sure that these are fully adhered which they are and now we can put it back on Now we just need to stick on the foam strip. Before we do that, I'm just going to quickly give it a wipe down with some acetone, just to make sure there's no grease on there because we do want this to stick very well. 
Okay, so the phone strip you'll notice it has two uh, sort of pre cut holes, we just need to push those out, discard the waste bits. Now, these holes are designed to line up with the back two bolts because it allows you to then remove it later on. And we're just going to check because the holes are slightly off centre, I just want to make sure. I've got a good overlap over the front edge. What we're actually going to do is uh, start in the middle, stick it down, but where this crease is, this is where we want to chop this down to size. So you will need a pair of scissors or a knife. So I've got my scissors. I'm just going to carefully peel back the tape. I'm going to peel it back to the first hole first and line that up in the middle. Okay, I've got that. And since I've got this ready, I might as well do this side first. So we're just going to follow the edge of the plate down to the front. I'm not pushing it down hard yet, just in case I need to reposition it. You want to be careful that you're not stretching the phone out as you're putting it down. Uh, it does need to be in its full height. Now I've got the down, I'm going to push that down. I'm going to trim the ends off. Do the same this side. And just make sure that's fully stuck down. All the way around it. And then we're done. Uh, the only other thing you need to do is remove the standard diverter which is fastened to the top of the bonnet and that's two bolts. I'm not going to cover that, there's lots of, lots of instructions online of how to do that. Uh, and then that's it, we are ready to go. Thank you very much.